Yeah. And the New Yorker wrote an article about is AI homogenizing our thoughts? And they looked at your study as well as one from Cornell and found that in fact, relying on AI, we can lose our secret sauce, our point of view. And for me, I believe our future, if we automate everything, if all these jobs become automated, the distinctive feature is going to be our unique thoughts, our point of view. That is how we are going to monetize and create value in a new world, a new economy. And so if we outsource our uniqueness or we don't use the AI, which we're going to get to the next part of this study in one second, there's a specific time to bring in AI. And in your study, you say when you bring it in at this specific time, it actually expands our neural capacity. And so p part of why I wanted to do this episode was because I don't think people, we don't know the best practices yet. We're learning them in real time. And if we know my, the best way for me to preserve my brain and expand band my neural capacity is to bring in this tool at a specific time versus outsourcing it from the get. Because if I outsource it from the get, I'm actually losing my ability to be an expert in my subject matter. I'm be homogenizing my own thoughts, losing my original way of thinking, thinking like everybody else. Then I'm actually disadvantaging myself from A, my authenticity and my truth. But b beyond that, what is this next what is our future going to look like? What is the economy going to evolve into? And I want us to be asking those questions now, not when it's too late, not when you've, our college student, you've given every essay prompt to chat GPT and you've retained zero critical thinking from four years of university. I want us to be, have agency and be prepared for what the future looks like. So will you walk us through a little bit about what happened when those that were brain for the first three came in and used the LLM, how it actually expanded our neural capacity? 